Good morning, grade 3 students. Hope you're doing well. Today, 17th of March, we're going to continue Chapter 4, Living Things, Lesson 1, How Can You Classify Animals? Before we continue explaining the lesson, please open your science copybooks. Let's correct the questions. Question number one, define a trait. You should write, a trait is a feature passed on to a living thing from its parents. Question number two, how can you classify animals? You're going to write how they look, where they live, how they act, with or without backbones. Open your books, pages 162-163. Tell me, what are the text features in these two pages? Heading, text, important word, pictures, captions, and questions. Very good. Take a minute. Look at the heading of this page, animals with backbones. What do you know about the meaning of the word backbone? A backbone is a set of bones connected to each other in your back. Look at the picture. You can see in front of you some animals with backbones and the skeleton of a person. Very good. Take five minutes, read the text in front of you, and answer the following two questions. Question number one, define a vertebrate. Question number two, list the five main groups of vertebrates. When we say define a vertebrate, we're going to give the meaning of the word vertebrate. A vertebrate is an animal that has a backbone. Second question, list the five main groups of vertebrates. There are five groups of vertebrates, fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Look at the page 163, groups of vertebrates. There are five groups of vertebrates, fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, mammals. First group, fish. Can you tell me what you know about fish? They are vertebrates. They live in water. They are covered with the scales. They are called blooded. They breathe through their gills and they lay eggs. Give me examples of fish. Starfish, jellyfish, whale, shark. Very good. Proud of you all. Group 2. Amphibians. What do you know about amphibians? Amphibians are vertebrates. Amphibians live in water and on land. They are covered with wet, smooth skin. They are called blooded and they lay eggs. Young amphibians breathe through their gills while adult amphibians breathe through their lungs. Frogs and toads are examples of amphibians. Group 3. Reptiles. Look at the picture in front of you. This is a lizard. A lizard belongs to the group of reptiles. Reptiles are vertebrates. They are covered with dry skin or scales. They breathe from lungs. They are called blooded and they lay eggs. Group 4. Birds. Look at this picture in front of you. This is a bird. It has feathers to keep warm and wings to fly. It has a backbone. It breathes from its lungs and it's going to lay eggs. The last group, mammals. We have a lot of examples of mammals. What they are? Rabbits, bears, dogs, Cats, what do you know about mammals? Mammals are vertebrates. They are warm-blooded. They are covered with fur or hair. They can breathe from their lungs. And they are going to feed their babies with milk. This is a concept map about animal classification. Invertebrates and vertebrates. And you can see we have five groups of vertebrates. The fish amphibians, reptiles, birds, mammals. Correction of the questions at pages 162-163.
Question number three. What allows a giraffe to grow so tall? A giraffe has strong bones that allow it to grow tall. Question number four. What is one way reptiles and amphibians are different? Amphibians can breathe with gills or through their skin. Reptiles breathe with lungs. Question number five. Circle two traits an animal can have to be classified as a mammal. You're going to circle hair and breathe air through lungs. Open your science copybooks and continue writing questions number three and four. Question number three, define vertebrate. Question number four, list the five groups of vertebrates. I want you please to answer these two questions in a complete answer. See you in the next video.